So in this video, we're going to take a look at two specific graphs, uh, r equals a and theta equals k, where k is greater than minus pi but less than or equal to pi. Now, I'm hoping that uh, by this point you've met r GAN diagrams, and you may be um, seeing some similarities between exploring complex numbers with r GAN diagrams, uh, the loci that there were, and the polar graphs that we are getting. Okay. Now, r equals a, you might be thinking, oh, that's very similar to when we had mod z equals a, which was a circle centered at the origin with radius a. Now, if I replace the r with the square root of x squared plus y squared, and then square both sides, we can clearly see that we're getting a circle centered at the origin with radius a. Okay, so actually what we get, here's our initial line, okay, here's our pole, that's of radius a. Okay, well, that's, it, was, it was meant to be a circle, <laughs> so uh, that'll have to do. Okay, so that is a circle centered at the origin or centered at the pole with radius a. Now, what about this one, theta equals k? What could that mean? Well, essentially, you're saying that the angle is always some value k. So, if this is your initial line, here's the pole, what you're saying is that we're looking for um, all of the points where theta is equal to uh, pi over 4, for example. In which case, it would be any point on this line where this is the angle pi over 4, or just our theta. Okay, so here's theta. And so what we get is that this describes, and you know, you can say it's k if you like instead, What you're getting is a half line through the pole. And this is very similar to what you met in Argand diagrams previously. Okay, So a half line through the pole uh, with angle K.